Smash.gg. Exactly. But without further ado, are we going to get into button warmer? Uh, button checks? Let's see. Let's see how they react. No, no button checks. This looks checks like necessary. a game. Yeah, jumping right into it. All right. MVG Dire and Fatality versus DJ Jack and Aether Zoltis. Yeah, and immediately we can see the blue team's plan, right? Get them in a juggle situation and then uh, Rosa up air. <laughs> yep. Exactly. That's what it looks like. And that's all the plan they need. Yeah, right now we've got a pretty even game. Um, let me see. Oh, wow. This <laughs> That up tilt going straight through Diddy Kong's hitbox. All right. Uh, Zaltus a little too slow in the draw there to get the follow up. Oh, my goodness. And Fatality Ouch. having an amazing down air. Killing yeah. Rosalina very, very early. That one hurts. Part of the reason that a lot of people are very uh, pessimistic about uh, Rosa's chances against Falcon, but no! That off stage exchange leads to uh, DJ Jack losing a stock that he really would rather have kept. Yeah, but Zalta's cleaning up Fatality's stock as well, given, uh, showing him that she can also take early stocks. Yeah, taking a single stock is consolation. Oh. Better than nothing, but... And taking a second stock right there with another wow. back air. That is definitely showing some strength there. Yeah, and that's that's Rosalina's... Uh, that's the con counterplay, right? Yeah. Uh, Falcon off stage, abusing him with Luma. Oh, no. Yes, he won't be able to make it back from that one. All right, down air sending Fatality back onto stage. So this game has been oscillating wildly. Yeah, this is looking like a very quick game. Fatality <laughs> sitting on his last stock already. Yeah, and we'll see if Dyer can uh, be the same stock tank that we saw. Um, oh my goodness, Fatality. Nugget being earlier. Oh, yes, yes. It, um, yeah, their styles of play are very, very different, but it does look like Dyer has shaped up from the last set, and he's, car he's uh, holding on to that strategy that they were coming up with by the end of it and playing much more of a support role, as you can see, he has the lower percent of his and partner. Wow, lot, Fatality right? with the best punish possible. Yeah, that was and a this very is, strong punish. This is a startling difference from their earlier set. Mm -hmm. um, now they're actually utilizing the team combos. They're uh, following up on each other's throws. And I think it's working out very well for them. Yeah, I'm sure they talked about that after they saw that it was giving them a little more success against uh, Spark and Day. All right, and... Oh, no. Yeah, this up smash. And it's all evened up. We'll see if Dyer can avoid taking too much damage while uh, Fatality starts to clean him up. But oh my goodness! Yeah, that was that was a very good choice of punish from DJ Jack. Uh, up tilt to down air. Wow, this set has been wild. All right, we can see those up airs kicking in, but Fatality challenging with a back air working out for him. Still can't manage to land. Yeah, I felt that like was good, <laughs> but. That's the part. Of, that's the problem of two v one, right? Yep. Even no matter how good you are, there might just be a uh, teammate in the way. Exactly. And this should be. Uh, oh, messing up the input for a true sure you. Very oh. common, actually. All right. Suddenly, this is looking a little bit more doable. Yeah. He's definitely. He definitely turned the game around with that. Uh, one kill just now. Yeah. Up air into uh, maybe a back air or a uh, forward air. Suddenly, Fatality carrying this team. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's been, he loves that command grab from the ledge. And how is, uh, oh my god, I can't even speak. <laughs> oh man, oh man, a very wow. clutch back air, sealing off that stock. That rage definitely kicking in right then. That was great work from Fatality, down a significant amount. Yep. And then he won the 2v1. Yeah, uh, I think that spike was so pivotal. Fatality known for his, like, very, very clutch plays that turn games around. Oh. All right, we got the top eight for you here. You want to tell us, Ukami. All right. So on winner side of top eight, we have... This is singles. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's all right, players. all right. There you go. Winner side is gonna be M2K versus 8-Bit Man, Spark versus and Spark versus Wormy Nugget, and then Ramen versus Myron and Rydia versus Dyer. All right. So you have that singles to look forward to, right after these doubles matches. And if the following matches are as explosive as that first one was, I'm sure we're in for a very uh, entertaining uh, remaining of the top eight. Yep. Oh my goodness. Is that no? Not enough. Not enough. The fact that that almost killed is <laughs> concerning to me. Yes. 
Wow. Hitting with this back air. Fatality's back airs are very, very good. Very well placed. And getting a lot of leeway. Knocking them off stage. And, uh, oh, but speaking of aerials, getting positioning off stage. Uh, I call. I want to call her Undyne, but Zaltus <laughs> has been brutally efficient off stage. Uh, I want to say that most of her value has been coming from her edge guards. You know, um, up airs and juggles as well, but the down airs have been part of that clutch factor. Yeah, she's definitely very proficient at landing these kills. She's getting a lot of air dodge reads, and when they don't air dodge, she simply throws out the lingering hitboxes, and they always catch. Just as we're seeing right there, but oh man, that's not working out for them too well. Yeah, just as effective are these command grabs that Fatality keeps throwing out. Yes, Fatality, every time he's recovering, he's like cleverly latching onto his opponents, using them as sort of a ladder <laughs> to make it back <laughs> to the stage. Climbing to victory on the backs of his enemies. <laughs> exactly. And there it's good strategy as well because um, you got a lot of. It. Falcon has that great aerial mobility, and so. And like the, the grab hitbox is so big that it's really just great work that he's doing. Yeah, it's, it's a very clever strategy and he's very efficient at it. Uh, oh man, Dyer almost wow. saving his partner there. Landing the fair just as he throws out the Shoryu to kill off his partner. Alright, and if the result is live, she will undine the undying. She wants to hold on to this stock. Oh my goodness. I really wanted to say that, by the way. I really wanted to say Undying the Undying, so I'm really happy that she held onto that <laughs> stock as long as she did. Oh my goodness. Silly Halogen. And that command grab, bada boom, double dipping. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, very, very quick confirm off the forward throw, going for a Nair. Alright, there it is. There's that positioning we were talking about earlier, Zaltus. Always wanting her opponents in the air. Yep, she gets so much mileage off of juggles, uh, juggling them. And then while she's up there in the air, you know, edge guarding, trying to kill off the top. DJ Jack on the ground, controlling space with his tilts, um, footsies game, that sort of thing. Yeah, that definitely looks like the strategy. She covers the air and off stage while he covers the ground. Yeah, but unfortunately for them, uh, Falcon and Diddy are very versatile characters, you know? They can function well off stage, uh, as we can see by all these command grabs. Goodness, there's that ladder again. Uh, Y'all heard about the Falcon ladder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, so efficient, right? And a little bit of a fortunate team attack happening there. Oh man, letting it be very clutch tech. I, I, I'm actually pretty surprised that Zoltis did not go for a back air after landing that tech. She was in a pretty safe position to do so, and Falcon was in a lot of lag. But nonetheless, she just cleaned up that stock very quickly. Yeah, I think uh, part of the reasoning for that was Lumo was out of place. But uh, additionally, they already have all the advantage they need, really. Yeah, Lumo plays a really big part in Rosalina's game, but Zoltis actually plays relatively well when Lumo's not around. Uh, almost a good solo Rosalina play right there. Gravitational pulled the banana. But honestly, next grab should be death if they uh, don't flub their execution. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as they're in the, the, the correct spot. I like that DJ Jack didn't want to risk anything. He prioritized recovering over trying to go for a back air while his opponent was behind him off stage. All right, Zaltus gets punished for going in, but... Like, just poking him off stage should probably end this. Aw, oh, come on, DJ Jack. You got this. <laughs> yeah, looking a little a little too high for Ryu to reach. All right, fall on him. Some oh, come on. Oh, man, missing the grab. Slightly badly spaced. I just wonder why they're... It almost seems like they're letting him live. <laughs> it's, it's looking that way. That's not going to be enough to kill. Or maybe they're just like, hey, I mean, if we get him up to like 200%, we're poking him and he dies. But there we go. All right, there it goes. Down tilt to true Shoryu. Have you ever seen a Diddy fly that fast? <laughs> no, I have not. Um, That's fully charged rocket barrel right yeah, there. Yeah, that was crazy. The, the percent that they let him uh, live to was crazy just now. But it's a good thing they, they were able to wrap that up and not let him do anything with all that percent. Okay, so... 
really good game one, but I don't think we saw as much team synergy coming out from the red team game two, right? Yeah, they uh, there was a, a little more uh, uh, flubbing on their part in this round, but hopefully they'll clean up. Yeah, it's it's like kinda, we're talking about it, it right now. It seemed kind of bizarre as well. Uh, Fatality spending so much time off stage. Like, it seemed like he spent more time command grabbing people and just climbing ever higher than this is this is very true like they kept getting him into very very disadvantageous positions but he was he was doing a very good job recovering with a character who struggles at recovery especially against characters like rosalina yeah, we'll see if the blue team can adapt um to seal out those stocks a little more effectively uh those were the cleanest stock takings that they did but um and then what does the red team need to do? Because they need to like kind of emulate that magic they had in game one, right? Yeah, they. I don't know. I feel I feel like they need to they need to space themselves more. You see how they're much more jumbled now. Like I like the way they were playing before, support and uh, the aggressor. Whereas now they're kind of all playing in the middle of the stage at the same time and just throwing out moves. It looks like that on both parts actually. But and they're exactly like you were saying. When Dyer actually commits to, hey, maybe I should throw my opponent towards my uh, teammate. Yeah, I actually want to see a lot more of that um, from from Blue Team. We saw them flubbing confirms when uh, when Zaltis would land a grab, and DJ Jack wouldn't confirm off of it, usually because they were at too high percent. But I'd like to see them get more percent off of that. They are landing a lot of grabs, but not throwing it to each other. Yeah, see, Zalta's like committing to back throw. Exactly. I don't. Exactly. Not entirely sure why. Yeah, I definitely think they would have gotten a lot more out of it if they just threw it to their partners. And <laughs> me, oh, wow. My goodness, Red Team is definitely showing much better conversion game though this time. Yeah, and uh, somewhere along the way, DJ Jack lost another stock. Uh, not wow. entirely certain what happened there. Uh, oh man, I, I'm just realizing that that stock is gone as well. Yeah, what, what's happening that we're not noticing? <laughs> oh my goodness, no, that's no good. Yeah, maybe Down airing his partner. All right, good work from Zaltis. Being yes. Such, oh my goodness, Dump. looking reminiscent of melee. Going oh yeah, that straight double for knee. these knees. <laughs> yes. And this is the type of play that uh, I think you mentioned exactly two minutes ago mm -hmm. that we needed to see from the red team. Yep. Uh, Dyer focusing on supporting Fatality's massive kill options. Because, let's be frank, Diddy's kill options, lackluster. Yes. But Falcon's kill options. Much stronger, especially in doubles. Just right. Yep. Just right. Uh, I don't like that decision by Dyer <laughs> to run off. At this point, they could actually just sit and wait. They have a good enough lead to just force the approach. Yeah, and uh, unlike DJ Jack and Zaltis, uh, the previous game, mm -hmm. it seems like they're focusing on you know maintaining patience until they can get an opening like that. It looks like it. I, I respect it. Yeah. Game three going to Dire Fatality. But from the way that like how volatile the set has been. It could very well go to a game five. Definitely looks that way. Uh, they, they tend to be shifting momentum. We'll see if blue team can kind of fix themselves up for this game. Yeah. It looks like they, they might be hovering over Dreamland. This is not a bad stage for them. Rosalina with up airs and True Shoryu killing very early on this stage. Hopefully they can make good use of those two moves. Yeah, regardless, I'm imagining that Fatality not minding the pick too much either. Um, he'll probably be getting lots of up air juggles, especially since he's kind of been finding his stride. Yep. These last couple of games. Oh my goodness, Fatality's awareness. Both of them. Yeah, but now Fatality off stage, Diddy in the corner. Uh, great stage presence by the blue team. Red team really looking like a like a whole new team from previous sets. Their synergy is much more on point and oh my what? goodness. Beating out the forward smash with the invincibility of the first few frames of Chu Shoryu. Chu Shoryu is silly. It's a silly move. That was such and a good cover up though from DJ Jack. Very silly indeed. 
the scanning the uh, percentages down below. Oh my goodness. Peter Jack's taking a beating <laughs> right now. Oh my goodness. Fatality, oh. please. Not killing just yet, but definitely building a little bit of momentum with those confirms. All right, I like what Zalta's trying to do, is get Luma into the fray so I okay, can boop around a little bit, but oh my goodness. no, a bad right. launch start from Zaltus puts her directly in Diddy's path. Yeah, at first it seemed in blue team's favor, but well, okay. it's, it's generally close to being considered an even game now. Uh, yeah, like what I've been saying, it's just volatile is the only way to describe this. Exactly, it's, that's definitely correct. Suddenly it looks like one team, oh, they finally found their team stride, but no, they just killed each other yeah leads don't stay leads too long in these sets oh my god there goes dj jack and i think we're seeing an incredible we were actually expecting a lot of off the top kills but we're seeing a lot of spikes there have been quite a few of those on both sides oh yeah if you if you're familiar with fatality and doubles uh it's not uncommon for him to get like three downer spikes in a single game so um, very true. He's i'm not at all surprised yeah, he's definitely known for going for these Oh, but check out that awareness by Zaltis. Uh, knowing that DJ Jack has sent Fatality up into the blast zone. Good exactly. up air. DJ Jack holding on to the stock. Yeah, it'll really be up to him to uh, hold on to the stock and try to confirm it to get some of those early kills because we haven't really seen that many, uh, you know, down tilt, up tilt, sure you can situations. Oh, no. Just as, oh man, Zaltus with the team kill on DJ Jack. DJ Jack immediately taking the shot. Yep, without that rage, looking grim for the blue team in order to finish these stocks unless they can pull something from deep within themselves. Oh man, nope. Uh, Zaltus, Zaltus losing her last stock. Oh, too sure you. All right, this is this is a game now. This is. Oh, uh, oh actually, it, no. If, they can, if he can true shore you, Captain Falcon, um, yeah, if he's he got just, a chance. Yeah, he needs to get rid of Falcon stock without taking too much percent. Well, look at this patient play from Dyer. Just down tilt trapping at the ledge. Fatality hanging back, waiting for an opening to, you know, run in and, you know, just push a button, really. Yeah, it definitely looks that way. I was not aware of Dyer's, um, that Dyer was holding on to another stock. So I thought the game was much closer than it is. Still, it's, I don't, this isn't impossible, but he's in a bad, yeah, very bad spot right now. It's looking grim, and yeah. there's the follow-up, but, oh, a little oh. premature. We're still in this. Just a bit. He's <laughs> up. Yeah, and yesterday. now we get to go to the player cams. That's a good um, Wasn't over till it's over, but it was over. Looks like it was that? Three games? That was four games. Oh, four games. Wow. Four games. Uh, that said, the yeah, Fatality and Dyer, then DJ Jack and Zaltis, then Fatality and Dyer, and then Fatality and Dyer finish it off with a game three, uh, game four victory. Huh. All right. We still have this MTK and Ramen versus Tachyon and Ross going on on stream, on right. the other stream. Yeah. So we're very nearly approaching the final matches. That was losers quarters. So and we have winner semis going on in conjunction on twitch.tv slash mvg underscore league. A lot of good doubles. If you're a doubles fiend, uh, come to Papa is definitely the tournament for you. You can check out all these VODs on the MVG League YouTube channel. Yes. Uh, I know that they upload very quickly. Very, very fast. I, I went home last night after uh, pools yesterday, and I was immediately 